Introduction Reproduction is the basic biological process by which organisms give birth to new organisms similar to themselves. Every living organism is the result of reproduction. The many known modes of reproduction are generally classified into sexual and asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction needs the involvement of two individuals of opposite sex. During sexual reproduction, the female produces eggs which will be fertilized by the spermatozoa released by male. An embryo is formed which develops into adult. Generally, higher complex organisms practice this method. During asexual reproduction, an individual can reproduce without the help of any other member of that species. Generally, lower, less complex organisms practice this method. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Highlight the importance of reproduction Describe the modes of reproduction in animals Compare the merits and demerits of sexual and asexual reproduction. Characterize the human reproductive organs. Mention the types of fertilization in animals. Differentiate oviparous and viviparous animals. Illustrate the process of in vitro fertilization. Explain the phenomenon of cloning. Human Reproductive System Male in males, the sex organs or genitals are located both inside and outside the pelvis. The male genitals include the testicles or testes. In a boy who has reached sexual maturity, the two testicles or testes produce and store millions of tiny sperm cells. The testicles also produce hormones including testosterone. Testosterone is that hormone that causes boys to develop deeper voices, bigger muscles and body and facial hair and it also stimulates the production of sperm. The duct system. Alongside the testicles are the epididymis and the vas deferens which make up the duct system of the male reproductive organs. The vas deferens is a muscular tube that passes upward alongside the testicles and transports the sperm containing fluid called semen. The epididymis is a set of coiled tubes, one for each testicle, that connects to the vas deferens. Scrotum The epididymis and the testicles hang in a pouch-like structure outside the pelvis called the scrotum. This bag of skin helps to regulate the temperature of testicles which need to be kept cooler than the body temperature to produce sperm. The scrotum changes size to maintain the right temperature. When the body is cold, the scrotum shrinks and becomes tighter to hold in body heat. When it is warm, the scrotum becomes larger and more floppy to get rid of extra heat. The accessory glands. The accessory glands, including the seminal vesicles and the prostate gland, provide fluids that lubricate the duct system and nourish the sperm. The urethra. The urethra is the channel that carries the semen to the outside of the body through the penis. The urethra is also part of the urinary system because it is also the channel through which urine passes as it leaves the bladder and exits the body. The penis. The penis is the ejaculatory organ through which the semen would be ejaculated. Human Reproductive System Female the human female has reproductive system located entirely in the lowest part of the abdomen. The external part of the female reproductive organs include the vulva, which means covering, the labia, 
which means lips, are the two pairs of skin flaps that surround the vaginal opening. The clitoris, a small sensory organ located toward the front of the vulva where the folds of the labia join. A female's internal reproductive organs include the vagina, a muscular hollow tube that extends from the vaginal opening to the uterus. It has several functions. For sexual intercourse, as the pathway that a baby takes out of a woman's body during childbirth, and as the route for the menstrual blood, the period to leave the body from the uterus. The cervix. That connects the vagina with the uterus or womb. The cervix has strong, thick walls. The opening of the cervix is very small. During childbirth, the cervix can expand to allow a baby to pass. The uterus, shaped like an upside-down pear, with a thick lining and muscular walls that contains some of the strongest muscles in the female body. These muscles expand and contract to accommodate a growing fetus and then help push the baby out during labor. The fallopian tubes, two in number, each attached to a side of the uterus. Within each tube is a tiny passageway and at the other end of each tube is a fringed area that looks like a funnel. The ovaries. Two oval-shaped organs that lie to the upper right and left of the uterus. They produce, store and release eggs into the fallopian tubes in the process called ovulation. Human Reproduction Fertilization Fertilization is the fusion of male and female gametes to produce a new organism. In animals, the process involves a sperm fusing with an ovum, which leads to the formation of zygote. Types of fertilization. In some animal species, the process can occur within the body of the female. This is called internal fertilization. Example, human beings. In some animal species, the process occurs outside the body of the female, which is called external fertilization. Example, frogs and fishes. Human reproduction, development of embryo. As a result of fertilization, a zygote is formed. This carries the genetic information of both its parents, the father and the mother. This single cell zygote starts dividing repeatedly and develops as an embryo. The embryo at an advanced stage is called fetus. In humans, the fetal stage begins about eight weeks after fertilization when the major structures and organ systems have formed. Viviparous and oviparous animals. Similar to fertilization, development of an embryo may take place outside or inside the body of the parent. Accordingly, they are classified into oviparous and viviparous animals. Viviparous animals are those in which the embryo develops entirely within the mother and not from an egg. Viviparous offspring live independently and require an external food supply from birth. This is the reproductive mode for nearly all mammals many reptiles and a few fishes. Aviparous animals are egg-laying animals. It means there will be little or no development of embryo within the mother. This is the reproductive way of many animals, including birds, amphibians, most insects, many reptiles and fish. One of the advantages to giving birth to live young is that the mother protects the fetus inside her body as it develops. The developing fetus derives nutrients from the mother's body and so is assured of receiving all the nourishment it needs to complete development. 
Development of the newborn. The development of an animal after its birth or emergence from an egg is not the same in all organisms. Accordingly, they are classified into direct and indirect development. Direct development. In some cases, the young one differs from the adult in comparatively minor details apart from not having functional sex organs. This kind of development is said to be direct. There's no larval stage and no metamorphosis. However, direct development does not mean that no changes occur between birth and adulthood. Human beings are typical examples for this kind of development. Indirect development. In some other cases, the newly hatched ones will not be similar to that of its parents. They undergo a rather long route to reach the adult stage. The sequence of stages is called metamorphosis. Amphibians and some insects are typical examples for this kind of development. Asexual reproduction types Budding this is one of the methods of asexual reproduction in most primitive animals like Hydra. In this form, an offspring develops as a bud from the parent body and grows and finally detaches from the parent to develop as a new individual. Binary fission. This is yet another mode of asexual reproduction found in unicellular organisms like amoeba, paramecium, etc. The division starts with the division of nucleus of a parent cell or organism followed by the division of its cytoplasm. The end result will be the formation of two daughter cells or organisms. Apart from these major types, animals undergo a few other modes of asexual reproduction like regeneration, multiple fission, etc. Artificial methods of reproduction. In vitro fertilization. A test tube baby is the term that refers to a child that is conceived outside the woman's body. The process is referred to as in vitro outside the body fertilization. Simply put, eggs are removed from the mother's ovary and incubated with sperm with the father. After fertilization, the pre-embryos are allowed to divide two to four times in a test tube, hence the name, and then return to the mother's uterus where they can develop normally. This procedure is one of many artificial reproductive technologies, ART, that are used when conception has not been otherwise successful due to fertility problems or either the mother or father or both. Cloning. Cloning is the process by which an entire organism is reproduced from a single cell taken from the parent organism and in a genetically identical manner. This means the cloned animal is an exact duplicate in every way of its parent. Cloning happens quite frequently in nature. Asexual reproduction in certain organisms and the development of twins from a single fertilized egg are both instances of cloning. With the advancement of biological technology, it is now possible to artificially recreate the process of cloning. The DNA nucleus was extracted from an embryonic cell and implanted into an unfertilized egg from which the existing nucleus had already been removed. The process of fertilization was stimulated by giving an electric shock or by some chemical treatment method. The cells that developed from this artificially induced union were then implanted into host mothers. The cloned animal that resulted had a genetic makeup exactly identical 
to the genetic makeup of the original cell. Since Dolly, of course, it is now possible to create clones from non-embryonic cells. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Reproduction is the basic biological process by which organisms perpetuate their own species. There are two modes by which organisms reproduce, sexually and asexually. Both modes of reproduction has their own merits and demerits. Human beings reproduce sexually. The males produce sperm, while the females produce ova. Fertilization is the union of male and female gametes in sexual reproduction. There are two types of fertilization, internal and external. Zygote is the end product of fertilization. It develops into embryo. At an advanced stage, when organs have developed, it is called fetus. Development of embryo may take place either inside or outside the body of the female. Accordingly, the animals are grouped into oviparous and viviparous. Viviparous animals may develop into adults directly or may cross through a few larval stages before becoming adult. Asexual reproduction is commonly found in lower animals. There are several types. Budding, fission, sporulation, regeneration are a few to be mentioned. Human beings with the help of advanced technology can assist the process of reproduction in infertile humans. In vitro fertilization is one such example of artificial reproductive technology. Cloning is a recent technology where an exact copy of an adult organism can be taken through artificial means.